Good morning from day two on our Ha Long Bay cruise here in Vietnam. It is 5.45 in the morning. We're still both kind of jet lagged, but in a good way. We go to bed at like 9 p.m. and wake up at five on our own. So it's working out pretty well. We're up this morning, hoping to see a sunrise. It's not looking super promising. It's cloudy. So we're gonna hang out here for a little bit, see what happens. The views are amazing though, regardless of clouds or not. These rock formations and the water look absolutely stunning. So we're super excited for some activities today and we really can't wait to explore more of this beautiful area. It's kind of starting to rain, so we're gonna move into the covered part of the deck up here. We're getting breakfast this morning, it's buffet style, so not great for me, but they're making something in the back. Oh, uh, thank you. Thank you. I don't know what fruit this is. I don't, maybe it's guava. No, maybe guava. Guava. We had guava juice the other day at breakfast and it was not that good. It kind of tastes like the ground, you know? Wow, you got coconut coffee? Good. And we're not coffee drinkers. <laughs> well, that was delicious. The boat is rocking a lot right now. We're kind of in the middle of sort of more open ocean going to our next spot. And we have about an hour until our activities commence for the day. So we are gonna be chilling for a little bit. Gotta digest all that food we just ate. We just arrived at our spot for the day. It looks like time to go do some activities on land. Basically every boat out here on Halong Bay has what they call a tender boat attached to the back of it that we take into the land for the land excursions. Good our morning, first ladies and gentlemen. Sit an hour from our captain cabin. So there you go. We are going to a village to do some biking on the mainland or on the island, I should say. We are starting off our bike ride strong. Whole squad is ready to rumble. Oh yeah. We are all no issues. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. I think our total trail that we're doing is about five kilometers, so about three miles. Not too bad, and it's pretty flat. I think there's a downhill part and then maybe one uphill, but it, it's pretty good. You could also take an electric car option, as you can see right here, but we're biking because it's not too bad. We're young and spry. We're back on Cat Ba Island. If you saw our video yesterday, we were here exploring some caves. It is the largest island in this area with 45,000 people that live on it permanently. So it's actually massive. We're on the opposite side today, not exploring the caves, just biking around. It actually is a pretty big hill. <laughs> Gotta really get those legs pumping up here. Almost there. You got some speed. I did not. All right, we did it. You beat me. I'm out of breath. <laughs> These views are so worth it. So, so pretty. Oh, getting hit by vines. <laughs> We just pulled over and saw probably the biggest spider I've ever seen in my life. Absolutely massive. And as we were watching it, there was a bee that flew into its web. Oh yeah, look at the cows. There was a bee that flew into its web and we saw it wrapping it up in its, in its more web. 
Really kind of creepy, but also pretty cool to see. We have just made it into Viet Hai Village, our destination for this bike trip. I'm not quite sure that was five kilometers. It might be five kilometers round trip. Yeah. Wow, look at this, we're just in this valley. Oh, this so pretty. One of my favorite things I think about visiting a new place is just seeing how people live. Just like experiencing like small villages like this and like just a totally different way of life than I'm used to or that we experience on a day-to-day -day basis, maybe even in the United States in general. And it's pretty cool just to experience it and like see it firsthand. That is quite literally why we travel, to experience these new places. I'm getting reminded of Norway and just the feeling when we were dog sledding. Um, we went in February and I'm getting that same feeling now of just being in awe of all the mountains and it's crazy. I think we're coming up to stop here. Yeah. What is it? Oh, you put your feet in? They get the dead skin, right? Yeah. Perfect. Let's get it going. <laughs> it kind of makes my leg shake. All right, guys. Round two. Get them going. Oh, I just wish I don't really have sickle as feet, but it feels really weird. They get scared. I like the heels the most. It feels like like kind of small scratches that are sharp and it's oddly addictive. I just keep doing it. Ooh. <laughs> one finger. Oh, uh. <laughs> yeah, I don't like that. <laughs> Look at that one. He's like, I know you're up there. Yeah. Look at them. They know. They know. Oh, it freaks me out. Uh. <laughs> It feels like um, when your like hand falls asleep and it's like static, it's pins like, and needles, the pins yeah. and needles. That's what it feels like. Ah, <laughs> that's weird. Well, now that Sarah's feet are nice and smooth and my one finger is feeling kind of weird, we're moving on. We have taken the bikes off road and we're going through the valley fields with water buffalo on each side. Super cool. Definitely a once in a lifetime experience, I'd say. These, these are very much not off-roading bikes with the baskets. The wheels are very thin, but it is entertaining and fun nonetheless. Up close and personal with a water buffalo. <laughs> wow, look at it. It is humongous. Hello. Well, that was awesome. We are leaving Viet High Village now, heading back to the boat. I think this has been our favorite activity so far. We're going kayaking later, so we'll see which one we like more. It's gonna be a toss up for sure. Biking has been awesome. We were discussing what color green this is, and we've established that it's a very lush green. Lush. And it really looks like if you took a picture of the jungle and like you were editing it and you turn the saturation on the greens all the way up, that's just what it looks like naturally. It is so, so beautiful to see in person. Okay, one second. I'm gonna take a quick minute here to talk about my favorite clothing brand, Cuts. If you've been around for a while, you know that I've been wearing Cuts for over a year now and I am absolutely obsessed. Not only do the shirts and all their clothes look good, they also feel good to wear no matter what the occasion is. So whether you're cruising around Ha Long Bay in Vietnam or just hanging out with friends, Cuts has something for any occasion. In this video, I'm wearing the Black Curve Crew Hem t-shirt and I absolutely love this style of shirt. It's comfortable, lightweight, and it goes with just about anything that I'm wearing or any activity that I'm doing. Recently though, the weather has gotten cold here, especially in the Northeastern United States. So I've been rocking more of their long sleeve and pants as opposed to the t-shirts. And let me tell you, the Polar Tech Sherpa fleece that I'm wearing is absolutely a game changer for winter. It's super soft, 
comfortable, and it keeps me nice and warm and cozy as the weather gets colder. I've also been wearing the AO joggers a lot more as the weather gets colder, and they are super comfortable as well. I highly recommend getting a pair of these if you're traveling anytime soon to a colder destination, or you're looking for your next pair of pants for traveling, or just going to the office, or hanging out with friends. Right now though is the Cuts Black Friday sale, and everything on their website is up to 50% off. I cannot stress enough how big of a deal that is, because 50% off is a lot. So if you're interested, hit the link in the description below to get up to 50% off. And basically you can double your cuts wardrobe for the same price. All right, let's get back to the video. Well, that was awesome. Just got back on the boat. We have about 30 minutes until lunch is being served. And then after that, we're going kayaking at some point, I think around two o'clock. So it's 1130 now. Plenty of time to just hang out and enjoy some views. I don't know if we're gonna move for, to a different point before then. I think we are, because it sounds like the boat is getting started, but that was awesome. Well, we made it to our destination for kayaking today. There are a few beaches in this area, so I think the plan is to take the kayaks to a few of them, through maybe like some caves or other rock formations. Our guide is just gonna lead us the entire way, so really looking forward to that. We got our leg workout in with the bikes. Now we're about to do some upper body, so today is a full body workout day. Well, the day turned out to be great. It is sunny. It is way hotter now with the sun, so I'm glad the water activity is happening now and didn't happen earlier and biking is happening now. These look tall, but they are even taller when you're right next to them. Hiking through the jungle. Not quite in, uh formal hiking attire, but it'll do. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, oh, wow, it's like really down here, huh? Um, you never know what you're gonna get, and there's little explanation for what you're doing, but uh, here we are, having fun, having fun nonetheless. <laughs> Jesus! Oh my god. Okay, we made it. Well, that was, uh, something. Well, we powered through the chaos there, crawled back through the cave, got back in the kayaks. Pretty short excursion, it's three o'clock, so we were out here for about an hour so far. I think we have to be back by four, and then just chill. We're just chilling the rest of the day, which is gonna be really nice after a jam-packed day of physical activity. Made it back from kayaking, it was fun. Nothing special. Preferred biking. Biking was really, really cool. Honestly, such a unique experience. Never done anything remotely like that. Never biked through like a village like that that I've never been to, but it was great. We are heading to our final mooring spot of the night for dinner, maybe some swimming, and just overall hanging out. Hoping that the sunset is better than it was last night, but these views never get old. Sarah and I have been sitting on our balcony just watching the views go by, seeing the mountains and the water, and. It just looks like a green screen. It's everywhere you go is just amazing views. It's awesome. We got drinks because it's happy hour. So we're ready to rumble. People are swimming. Sarah has to go in the water naturally. I'm sitting this one out, but I'm gonna fly the drone.
boat is really rocking. Well, why does it look so blue? That looks weird. Are you listening to this? No. <laughs> Still falling over. <laughs> the ground is a little lower than I thought it was. Really, I don't, I, I had an itch. I think. <laughs> Hairs are looking crazy. <laughs> you got some curly girls. Made it back from snorkeling. <laughs> snorkeling. Did we go snorkeling? Did not go snorkeling. 